Hello, in this visual basic programming video, I am going to show you how to pass or, you know, read a XML file. So I've already got an XML file, so if I open it up, here it is right here. So it has, you know, the version at the top, so simple stuff. Use any XML file, one that you've created, one that you get online, doesn't really matter, the process is the same. I've got a root element, and inside I've got another element, so car, and inside of there I've got a bit of some more elements and some information. I've also got attributes as well if you want to be able to access some attributes, but I'm going to leave that as an extra task to you, I think. Okay, so let me, so you need to make sure that you place, so this project's on the desktop, you need to make sure you place the file in the bin directory in debug, or you know, essentially wherever the executable is. So if it's on a separate user system and you're transferring it, make sure it's with the executable. So I've got it right here, file.xml. Okay, so to you know use XML in Visual Basic, you need to import a module called system think you guessed it, dot XML. Now what we're gonna do is simply read over it and just print out the data in the console. You could do whatever you want with it, you could put it into a database, you could submit it online. You could put it into some, you know, GUI components. I recommend actually doing that. So I'm trying to list them out in a list box as an extra task. Okay, so we're going to create a variable called XML R, and this is just going to be the XML reader. And this essentially will specify, or we will specify in here, the file name, so file.xml. And there's something to bear in mind. If the actual file itself is let's say within a folder in here, then you know specify the folder first, then the file. So this is you can think of it the path relative to the executable. So now what we're gonna do is do a do while loop for do while XMR hmm, XML. I was like, why in intelligence popping up? XML R dot read. So it's gonna read the file. And in this while loop, we're going to do a few checks. So the first check you're going to do is node type. If it equals, you know, basically a valid node type, then we're, then we're sorted. We can, you know, keep going. Uh, forget these brackets. I don't know why I put them. I know why. They, you know, we've just been programming in C++ and they require brackets. Okay, so XML node type dot element so xml node type dot element okay so now we are also going to say and also so there's more than one condition that we are going to do xml r dot name for the name of the element is equal to oh no well that you know just naturally refers to this one right here and if that is valid we are going to say console dot right line and we're simply going to write out the, the element to do that you just do xmlr dot read element string hmm. why isn't why is that not popping up dot read element that is string so let me just write it in okay it's disappeared it wasn't popping up in telecent for some reason that's weird so what we're going to do is copy this, we're, we're going to do a check for the other thing as well, the other what's it called, the other, 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 I'm trying to think, the other value, the other, the other element, so the company name, and we are going to, you know, just change the company, and then once this is done, we are basically going to say this actually we would do this as an else if this needs to be an else if 
get rid of that. Let's go then here. But after this, we are going to do an else. So if this doesn't work, we are going to just continue reading to the next part of the file. Dot read. So similar to what we did in here. So now let's run it and see what we get. So it says BMW Bob Honda John. So it has looped through it, and obviously we could change this and just put it on right instead of right line if we want to. And you know, it's all just all on one line now. How you want to format it is totally up to you. But that is the basic principle of parsing XML files. So if you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message, and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon.